Fun. Hello, who do we got on the phone? This is Terry. Welcome hey. to the Watch Guys. Hey. How you doing? Hey. It sounds like it's active there. Who, who am I speaking with? What's the crowd there? I got, you got Freddie the Fireman, which is me. We got Bella Wayo Angelo. We got Joey Cat, Jumpa Gennaro. Some guy I think you might know, David Harris. And we My got... Buddy. Lene <laughs> <laughs> and Michael Demetrius and Gary Demers all here at the table. So you don't need me. Well, sure we, we need you. Sure we need you. We miss you. What are you saying? You. I'm just joking. <laughs> it's so good to be with you all. Great to have you. Uh, I, uh, we were talking earlier about uh, Zoo Crew Two. Would you like yeah. to share with us how, what your your uh, uh, you know your views on it? Well, I mean, I don't have, have views. Is uh, Basically, here's the thrust. Uh, Michael approached us, and he has this love for not only the Warriors movie, which many, many people do, which we were all surprised about when we first made the movie, but it's just been tremendous. But he also has this, you know, the, the late 70s. It's something that's not around anymore. You know, the... Even though it was a little rough, what was kind of cool about it is that, you know, there were neighborhoods and there were families and people were in New York for sure, you know, real with each other. And I think we've lost a lot of that. And I think that he's on to something because a lot of these shows, these uh, series that are showing on the different uh, platforms are really kind of taking, you know, periods and bringing life to some of these periods. And I think that it has potential to... It's a, to move a, a, an audience. Yeah, this Absolutely. is this is jumping Janeiro. I'd like to comment exactly about that. I think I think that it's not only kind of an education to those that didn't live the times or or, or those communities to yeah. to learn about, but it also exactly that. It's the fact that hey, you know, here's a place where there were a lot of diverse people and 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 people did get along and and there was mischief. Okay, but you know, they overcame it and, uh, you know, they came together. It wasn't all about, you know, uh, crime and division and, uh, you know, people who actually looked out for each other. So I think uh, I think that's really important. Is, is Well, I, I, I've, I've spoken to some of the Warriors cast and also, you know, David, who is, you know, my buddy. Um, you know, and correct me if I'm wrong, but, you know, we were interested in the script, but the, the main thing we wanted it to do was not just be, as you said, you know, just about some kids getting into a gang. It's about kids co coming into a gang and coming of age and through it learning life lessons and becoming, you know, everyone doesn't go the right path, but at least they're challenged to kind of look at life as, as, as the years go by. So I, I agree with you. Um, I, I, I hope that the, pro the producers are successful. They certainly have energy and they're open and they're willing to, you know, to look at different avenues. So, you know, we're excited to support them. I know the Warriors are the ones that are involved. Nice. Thank you. Hey, hey uh, Terry, I want to ask you, back then, uh, were you uh, were you in a gang? No, actually, you, you, don't, you don't want to ruin my reputation on the air, do you? No, it's, I, we could talk about he, it now. He went to Catholic school, too. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't go to the same Catholic school as He was the Victorian Catholic school. <laughs> 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 I'm, waiting for him, I'm waiting for him to say that. Hey, <laughs> hey listen, the worst kids were in Catholic school. I tell you. Yeah. Let tell me, me tell about you. it. Oh, yeah, that's a rough kid. Oh, school. yeah. Absolutely, you know. Anyway, no, you know, I was punk. I was a punk, and I did get into a lot of trouble. But I came up from a very, I, I would say, cross-section, suburban, rural area in upstate New York. And, you know, the things we did were tame compared to real gangs and crimes. But I, I did, you know, I did feel that I fit the script. I felt I uh, fit the character. And as you know, and it's kind of an old story, but it's a fun story for people that don't know. You know, um, I think David was like the last one cast in the film. I was. Uh, yeah. But, you know, for me, before he came in, there was like, they brought like 10 or 11 of us up to Paramount after interviewing thousands of them. And it got narrowed down to, 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 to 11 or 10 or 11 people, I forget. And what happened is, is that um, they were only going to take, you know, eight or nine. So all of a sudden, my agent called me. They said, nah, they don't want you. And I was heartbroken. 
You know, I remember, I remember thinking, oh, I, I, I just couldn't believe I was that close and didn't get it. And who was up there with me was Tony Danza. And we have, a, we have a very similar style and look. I mean, I'm not comparing much, but you know, it's, it's, you, you know what I'm talking about. Italian and, you know, <laughs> his build. And um, so they picked him. And I thought it was done. It was just done. So I, I just went home and I said, God, you know, I, I don't know what to do. You got to take care of this. And I just forgot about it. And months, months later, my agent called and they said, they want you to go back and read. You know, they wouldn't give it to me. I had to go back and read because Tony got taxi and he took that and that opened up the role for me to wow. actually. Yeah, that's right. Wow. That. Yeah, I was going to I was going to mention that because um, uh, we just saw taxi and I looked back and saw when that started and I was like, wow, you know, I never thought it started in the 70s. I always, for some reason, yeah. I always thought it started in the 80s, but that yeah. started in 70s. the 70s. Yeah, yeah. 70s. yeah so uh, that's a great yeah. story. Yeah, you know, and Tony's a big Warriors fan, so, you know, it's all part of the family. But it was a great story. You know, you, you never know how things happen. Um, uh, you know, and I, I, as David, David's probably heard these stories. I mean, you know, I, I, I see David a lot, so, you know. But all these guys, David and, and Ajax and Swan, they have very strong personalities in the movie. And I said to myself... I can't compete with this. I don't know what Vermin's going to do, but I, he's got to do something. So if you look, if you look at the graveyard scene and you see, you know, us all talking, you know, I'm there trying to be tough like these guys and I look like a real idiot. <laughs> and, 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 and then I finally realized I've got to do something. So I decided to create this character Vermin and make him somewhat comedic and I sort of Followed this old Hercules character, you know, the half man, half horse guy, that kind of repeated everything twice when he got nervous, and I, you know, he talked in a high voice when he got nervous, and I went for it, tried to create it, staying in the confines of what Walter Hill, you know, he didn't want it to go too far out because you know he had his own vision, and it seemed to work, and I brought a little, you know, comedy to the film, and uh, you know, I was, it was fortunate. Well, it worked. That's yeah. for sure. Yeah. Well, I, I tell you, like I, I, uh, you definitely have. I mean, if you go back, if you're, if you grew up watching it, you definitely have that famous look on the train, that scene on the train, that that, <laughs> that scared look, yeah. like when you were pretty much done, almost, you know. Yeah. Well, let me tell all your, let me tell all your fans something, and, and this is, and they all know this. How much longer we gotta wait? And we might be here forever. I'm sick of waiting for trains. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. But um, we want to do something that, as, as Zoo Crew 2 grows, and, and, uh, and we just like to bring these all back. And hopefully, this, this is the plan. We're in a, a music studio that record, a recording studio. And um, we, we could definitely have a band play here. I mean, all that will be all cleaned out. There will be plenty of room for a band. We're in a soundproof room, and uh, we, we uh, uh, look, there was uh, talk about us putting out a nice spread, and we were going to do that. <laughs> Once, uh, like, three of you guys uh, had, couldn't, who couldn't make it, who had a, uh, another affair and got caught up, we, yeah. we were going to, we figured we'd have a nice pizza night. But, <laughs> well, as, and seriously, though, as Zoo Crew grows, I like to, like to just keep uh, on with uh, Zoo Crew, right. and uh, hopefully we could get you guys to come in. And, uh, on, crew too. and have a nice spread for you so we could all enjoy a nice evening together and do a great show. I think it would be fun to do my own caveat with that. You know, but it's just that, you know, I, I work a lot. And I, you know, weeknights are very tricky for me to get down to New York and things like that. But, you know, not that I'm not willing and I won't try to work it out. Uh, you know, I, 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 I can find ways you know, to go down there. But that's the problem sometimes. That's the only reason. No, it's but we'll, we'll give it plenty of time to go over and to straight uh, and to, and to plan it uh, better, and uh, we'll we'll uh, we'll try to accommodate all you guys as best we can. Yeah, well, I'm glad you're Warriors fans. You know that every Warriors fans. I I'll, I'll wrap it up here, but every Warriors fan has you know people they like the best. You know they all like different characters, and uh, I always felt fortunate that David Harris, Coach East, and I, and of course Marcy who's not here around, you know, got to break off and uh, become friends with Lizzie's, 
who weren't Lizzie's, by the way. You can read between the lines. And, uh, <laughs> and, um, and um, you know what? This Dave, is just... David and I became very close friends through that, and I've always cherished that. Well, I'm going to just comment about this. Is jumping Janeiro again? You know what? He's he. It's not. I don't. I don't believe in coincidence. I think everything in life is destined to happen. He's actually yeah. sitting next to me. And I put yeah. my hand on his shoulder because I feel so bad. In that moment, he's like, you know what? We got to get to Union Square. He's like, wait a minute, man. He's like, he's in a room with all these nice looking ladies. He's like, I think I want to ch chill here just a little bit longer. You know, here he goes. You know, he's hanging in. You feel for the guy. He's like, oh, here he goes. He's trying to make his move. Here's an opportunity. And who you know he's going to have his ass blasted off. <laughs> hey, a little break in the action. What do you mean, what, what do you mean we're going to leave here? What are you talking about? You know what I mean? We ain't going to Fighting Union guys Square. all night long. We get all these pretty girls. You want us to leave? Yeah, what are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I love that line. That was a little brick in the action. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, that was good. Yeah. And he you're said that. that. You're one of my favorite characters in the, in the movie. Thank you. Was. Thank you. I do. You, I, were, you were definitely the most decorated too. You, you look. Oh uh, like, yeah. You look like the best gang member that you could find back then. That, that was uh, Bob Bobby Mannix. Terrific. Yeah. Costume. I was gonna say I costume to design. You know. stuff too when I was out of that. Age. Did anybody? <laughs> I, I was gonna say. Did Did you get any input or give any input on on the actual uh, some, costumes? Somewhat. When uh, uh when I got I was the last warrior to get cast. The entire cast, all those guys, Terry, Michael, all the guys are cast. And uh, I, I was doing a play in Minneapolis called Streamers, and I I, I finished the play, and. Uh, I got back to New York, and my agent said, David, look, this is, this is a movie. This guy, Walter Hill's in town. Uh, he's trying to cast a movie called The Warriors. Man, I never heard of it. <laughs> you know, and he says that they can't find the character of Cochise. They, they looked at all these guys, and the director and the producer's not happy with anybody. He says, go up for the movie. Yeah, okay, I'm going to go for the movie. You know, went up for the movie, and I was like, Oh, damn. <laughs> you know? And I walked in the room. He got his Walter Hill and Lawrence Gordon, the producer and director. And I had two scenes ready for Walter to read with a reader. And, uh, you know, Walter has this thing where he has his toothpick in his mouth all the time. And he does that, and the toothpick's is bumped in his mouth. He's looking me up and down, going, damn, this guy hates me. He don't like me. He don't like me. He don't well, like me. I think me. He, was, he was trying to see if your eyes were going to follow the toothpick. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, uh, he says, are you ready to read? I said, yeah, sure. And I read, like, I don't know, two lines, and he says, stop. And I said, okay, I'm out of here. Said, this didn't go well. And he goes, go down the wardrobe. Wow. I said, what? <laughs> I said, go down the wardrobe. That was and, I, and, I, and, and at that time, there were no cell phones. You know, yeah. I, 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 Paramount was on 59th Street in Central Park, wow. and, I, and, I, and that's where Paramount, now it's not some sort of tower thing with blah, blah, blah. So I, I ran across the street to a pay phone and I called my agent. I said, the director just told me to go down the wardrobe. What is that all about? He goes, you smuck, you got the role. That's it. And uh, I, I went down the wardrobe the next day and he goes, you know, it's Michael Beck and James Remar and all the guys, Terry and all the guys are there. And they're looking at me because I was the last guy to put that vest on. <laughs> <laughs> and they're looking at me, and they just looked at me and went, "Welcome, warrior." <laughs> and it was just, it was love at first sight. Nice. We and got you, and you wore that vest well. And, oh yeah, I mean, it, it, like it's, 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 I, have, I have one more question before he gets off the phone. So you had mentioned that you like when uh, Tony Danza, you said, was going up for the part, and you and you thought you didn't. You know, you weren't going to be part of this whole thing. Did you know that it was going to be as big as it became? I mean, at no, that point? We were, no, we, me, me and Dave, we were all sitting around watching an initial screening. And this is before they put in, you know, the music and everything. Don't forget, we were a lot. Of, I mean, I was a, I, all I had done at that point was I had done Greek on Broadway, the National Touring Company. And I'd done uh, an off-Broadway show and, you know, a lot of uh, lower-level plays, but, regional theater so i just wanted to have a job in a movie i couldn't believe i even had a job in the movie and to me it was more i hope i get another one after this i didn't understand the ramifications of it and oh, forget it was it, 
top grossing film the first few months out. And then it Paramount pulled it. And I didn't hit any back at film for years. I mean, years. It all went on HBO, the underground, and everybody started like watching it. And all of a sudden, years later, it just broke on the scene as this major uh, cult film that has not stopped growing more popular today than it was even three years ago, no less than years ago. And, you know, I had no vision for that. I mean, there were all these gangs coming out. But it had something, I'll tell you what it had. First of all, it had multicultural or it was popular and, you know, chic. We, we, we all, when have you seen a, a gang that's that diverse in New York back in those days? You didn't. But also, as the friends, we have been like that for years and we still are like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. get, you know, a lot of people hear movies and, you know, the people have fights and all that. You know, there's, you know, I don't know what it was like on the set. Maybe there were some minor things. I don't remember. But right now, today, we're all very close. When we see each other, we really are very close. We laugh a lot. Mm. Look like a lot of fun. Yeah. We remain very, very close. We're very, well, very, very good friends. Terry, I want to thank you so much for uh, giving us the opportunity to co uh, do the interview with you. Terry, You're welcome. You. Thank you, Terry. Thank you so much. And uh, listen, I promise you, as we get uh, uh, deeper into the Zoo Crew 2 and everything, we'll give you plenty of time to make arrangements, uh, and uh, we'll try to do something special. Yeah, we thank you, and you keep pushing Zoo Crew 2. They're good people. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Thank Thanks. you. Take thank care, you. buddy. Talk to you soon. I'll catch up with you one of these days, wise guy. And when I do, 